My name is Rachel Pilkington and this is a little insight into my reasons for choosing a vegan diet. It was greater awareness of how much animals suffer that led me to become vegetarian. I had already made the decision to give up lamb when I was about 15. I'm quite sure a book that I used to read a lot as a child had something to do with that. I was out driving one day and I pulled up next to a livestock truck. I knew the animals on board were headed for the meat factory, but the realization that I was contributing to their suffering as a consumer hit me quite hard for the first time. And I drove home in tears. And after several conversations with my family, then we made a collective decision to eliminate meat from our diet. And shortly afterwards, we gave up fish. I grew up in Tipperary town and like Every other family, meat, fish, dairy, they were all central to every meal. My own dad fished and he even hunted a few times. And I remember this one day being absolutely horrified when he returned home with a dead rabbit, which we then had to eat for dinner. Some of the kindest people I knew farmed animals as a way of life. And even though I may not agree with it as a practice now, I do feel I've gained a perspective and understanding having grown up in the country. I don't think we show a great regard for animals in Ireland, and that's something that upsets me a lot. I try to remind myself that I'm only responsible for my own choices, but it's still very hard, especially when you're surrounded by so much injustice and cruelty. In July 2012, a prominent group of international scientists gathered together to sign the Cambridge Declaration on Consciousness having found that both human and animals, including all mammals and birds and, and many other creatures like octopuses, that they all possess the same neurological substrates that generate consciousness. Yet despite the converging evidence that they do have the capacity to feel and suffer and exhibit intentional behavior, so many industries are still hinged on the exploitation of animals. We farm them, we breed them, cage them, shoot them. We even take their young away from them. Mark Twain wrote, it is just like man's vanity and impertinence to call an animal dumb because it is dumb to his dull perceptions. I spend a lot of time with my cousin Susan in Wicklow now and we always enjoy preparing meals together and talking about the latest things that we've learned about food and nutrition. And now that you're plant-based, uh, vegan, what other, a huge amount of benefits, but what mm. other health benefits do you find? I feel much healthier and lighter and physically feel so much better. I have so much more energy. I found that my skin is a lot clearer and um, my hair is in better condition and shinier. I would eat fruit, vegetables, uh, nuts, seeds, beans, legumes, uh, eat a lot of lentils and uh, quinoa um, uh, and a variety of beans. Also, uh, I take a vitamin B12 now that I don't take eggs anymore. Um, but also there's herbs, spices, uh, I take spirulina. Okay, let's go enjoy it. I'll get Noah. Great. <clears throat> but anyway, oh, these he picked these up yesterday, the kale crunchies. Yeah, I had them last he week. Them. Last weekend, did you? I'm reading this book at the moment called The China Study by T. Colin Campbell. And it's a book which uh, really regards a plant-based diet and all its benefits. And I've just turned this page and he's referenced Rachel Carson, who I was actually named after. My full name is Rachel Carson Pilkington. She wrote many books, but one of them was called Silent Spring. And it talked about how much we're negatively impacting the environment. Uh, she received substantial backing from the Kennedy administration at the time and as a result of that it gave rise to the modern day environmental movement as we know it. Agrochemicals, climate change and habitat loss are having a detrimental impact on our native flora and fauna. Any threat to them is obviously a threat to our bees and if the survival of the pollinators, our bees, is threatened, our survival is threatened. I try as much as possible to only use skincare products that are free from parabens and aluminium. We don't even realise how much we're polluting our own bodies with half of these toxic chemicals. I believe every tiny, seemingly insignificant creature has its own function and purpose and 
just because we may lack the understanding or insight into what that purpose might be, that doesn't give us the right to interfere with their lives or to inflict harm on them. It's part of nature's grand design that we all evolve and change. In fact, our very survival depends on our ability and willingness to adapt to change. But nothing is more important right now than the changes we need to make to ensure the survival of the very planet we're standing on.